Can you imagine yourself living in the dark? It is hard to imagine a world without electricity. Electricity provides humanity with a natural light, but today it has grown to become the basis of our comfort. It is also responsible in powering all of our appliances, be it for cooking, cleaning, and entertainment. In 1819, Hans Christian Orsted discovered that a steady current produces a steady magnetic field. Michael Faraday observed this and asked himself, if the electric current produces a magnetic field, is it possible that the magnetic field will produce an electric current? So what he did is to test it out. Let's go! He used a coil, galvanometer, and a magnet. When he first tried it, the needle is not deflecting, which means no current is being induced. The motion of the magnet is causing the needle to deflect. Current is induced in the coil due to relative motion between the magnet and the coil. Faraday tried to reverse the poles of the magnet. The deflection reversed when the magnet was reversed. He also tried to move the magnet faster, which resulted to faster needle deflection. Due to this, the rate of current is induced more. He concluded that a changing magnetic field produces a current, not a steady but a changing magnetic field. This profound discovery changed our world and it contributed largely to the technological revolution of the late 19th century up to the present. This phenomenon was called electromagnetic induction. Modern society has numerous applications of Faraday's law of induction. One of the best contributions of this phenomenon is the generation of generators. A generator is a device that converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. It is indeed a lifesaver in times of a disaster such as a typhoon or a flood that knocks out power for days. Next is the graphic tablets or tablet computers. Graphic tablets or tablet computers with a specially designed pen is used to draw digital images also applies induction principles. Electric and hybrid vehicles also take advantage of the electromagnetic induction. Another application of induction is the magnetic stripe on the back of your personal credit card as used at the grocery store or ATM machine. For this discovery of electromagnetic induction, truly plays a significant role in our society up to this day, and electricity is indeed essential in our lives. It makes our life easier, but although it may not be obvious, there's a direct connection between our energy use and our environment. That's why it is necessary to consume less power to conserve the Earth's natural resources and protect ecosystems from destruction. By taking these small steps to reduce our energy use, we can contribute to a healthier and happier world.